Hello, I'm Shail Morg, co-founder of Codename One. I want to talk to you about how Codename One can help you build mobile applications for Android, iPhone, iPad, and other devices while leveraging your existing skills. First, let's talk about what Codename One is at a bird's eye view. Codename One allows developers to build true native applications, not HTML5 or PhoneGap applications, real native apps. We work directly on Dalvik when running on Android, but on iOS, we translate the code to C and integrate it with Objective-C, producing performance that is up to three times faster than iOS native code. Yes, faster than native. We're also free and open source, so we hope that you join our community and take part in that as well. So let's start with a quick demo uh, of what Codename One can accomplish, followed by how you can build a Codename One application. As you can see here, I have two elements on the screen. One is my physical iPad. It's mirrored through the Wi-Fi onto my Mac and then recorded on video, so any video skipping is related to that overhead. The second screen is our Codename One simulator, which we use for development. Think of it as a fast and usable version of the Android's emulator. I can rotate the simulator and access a great deal of functionality right here, ranging from unit test recording tool to bug tracking tools and network monitoring tools. As you can see, we have quite a few animations we can do in this UI, which work the same both in the simulator and on the physical device. Notice that the UI arranges itself differently when running on a tablet and on a phone. These are all trivial to accomplish using Codename One and are mostly automatic. We can change the look of the application completely and give the application a more plain vanilla look or a rich and completely controlled look, such, such as our leather theme. We can preview the application on a Nexus One simulator. As you can see, while the basic UI looks the same, there are many small differences underneath. We automatically adapt to Android's glowing edges instead of the iPhone's snap behavior. Buttons look different, alignment is different, and many other things behave differently. Yet we can apply things such as leather theme to make everything look and act more uniformly across different platforms. Then again, we can do the exact opposite and make things look like native Android 2 in this particular case, or like Android 4, when running on a Galaxy Nexus. Everything on a Galaxy Nexus will have uh, Android 4's feel, including the actual native action bar behavior underneath. So, let's see how it's done. I'm using Eclipse here, but this should work just as well in NetBeans. First, we can create a new Hello World application using the new application wizard. We can just pick a theme and the default application. You will notice we have several theme types we can pick, such as the native theme or various other themes. We will pick the social boo theme. Next, we can pick a default application we want. We can create a hand-coded application or go with a GUI builder application such as the Tabs app which I will pick right now. We now have a newly created application in place which we can launch using Eclipse, debug, etc. We can play with the application in the simulator just like we can with any other app. So how is this different from Android? We don't need a manifest, a resource directory, or many of the different complexities that Android imposes. 
we have three source files. The important ones are this main class, which is effectively a simplified activity class that works for all platforms. Greebuild applications also have a state machine class where all your code to connect to the GUI should reside. We can visually edit the UI by double-clicking the resource file. This opens the Codename 1 Designer tool. In the Codename 1 Designer, we can customize the theme, GUI, images, localization, and many other aspects of your application. It's your one-stop shop for UI, multi-DPI support, and localization. The theme is as powerful as CSS in many regards, but much simpler. Everything is visual, and we can customize the whole thing from one place. We have nine-piece borders, which we can cut, and they would automatically generate a version for every DPI. I will talk about this later. We can set transitions, fonts, and pretty much everything from this one place. We also have a GUI Builder section, which allows us the sort of drag-and-drop UI we are used to. If you are used to layouts and views uh, in Android, then Codename 1 is pretty similar. We have a container, and it has a layout, which you can determine. The components then arrange themselves based on the layout we choose. For example, here I picked the box layout Y, which is similar to the vertical linear layout. And once I did that, I can now drag elements into place and just double click them to edit them. The image section allows us to add multi images which can adapt to every DPI. The cool thing about this feature is that the tool can automatically scale the image using a high-quality scaling algorithm and adapt it for every device density. We can do it by specifying the image resolution of the source image and we automatically get images that match every DPI. To get a native application, all we need to do is right-click on the project and select the platform we want to build on. There is a bit more to do here since we need certificates for iOS, etc. But basically, this is it. On our cloud, we have Macs with Xcode and Windows machines, which means you can build native iOS applications without having a Mac or a native Windows phone app without having a Windows machine. You can build using our open source tools, but we only provide official support for this process to our enterprise developers since supporting native builds is very intensive. We hope this short introduction has been helpful to you. Please talk to us in our discussion forum. We thank you for taking the time to watch this short introduction.